Today on Tricro Studios, we talk about what I did to my uh, 2019 Gibson SG Standard Tribute. So here is my 2019 Gibson SG Standard Tribute guitar. Basically, it is the standard because it has the crown, and I think they include the poker chip. Uh, and a tribute, obviously, because it is a satin finished, uh, so satin nitro finished guitar. And it has the dot inlays instead of the trapezoids. Uh, let us know down in the comments what upgrades you might do to this guitar if you would purchase it, or if you have purchased it, what upgrades you have done. But I have done three upgrades so far, uh, with a fourth that I'll eventually do. So the first one, which is a little annoying to me, uh, but I bought a brand new toggle switch and installed it. That was very quick to do, but basically the poker chip that they included with the guitar, and this is great for you people who hate Gibson out there, um, did not fit. The toggle switch was too small or too short, uh, so it was, it was impossible to put the poker chip on. So I got six or eight dollar toggle switch and soldered it in. Next up, and this was just something I believe that's in my brain, but I swapped out the bridge. Um, I swapped out the bridge because I did a gold conversion on my uh, Les Paul Classic. So I just took the bridge off that and put it in here. Uh, the original bridge, I don't know, just seemed a little off to me. Uh, it wasn't like loose or anything like that. You couldn't wiggle it or nothing. But I don't know, it, just, it was just a little off for me, and this makes me feel like this much better about it. There's not too much of a difference. And the last one, which would be, which would be the most common upgrade that would happen to this guitar, I installed chrome covers on here. So uh, I bought the Gibson ones as well, instead of going like the Amazon or eBay route. A lot of the um, ones that come from China, you either have to wait forever for them, or the string space or the spacing here for the holes for the pole pieces aren't right. Uh, so you see a lot of reviews like on Amazon with the pictures that show that they're off by like a tiny bit. And that is super noticeable and I didn't want to have that problem. It was $60 Canadian for these two covers. Um, $60 instead of $12, sure that's a little bit of an inconvenience in price, but uh, it fits perfectly. And um, another thing is that some of them, they're too tight when you're trying to push them on. These were smooth, uh, super easy. I didn't have to fight with them at all. Um, now, if you are scared of doing this upgrade yourself, don't be. It took me 12 minutes and I had never done it before. Basically, all you do is you take the pick guard off, take the pickups off the pick guard, and then light a candle, take the candle wax, spread it on the pickup, put the pickup cover on, push it in so that the uh, pole pieces come through, and then clean off any excess wax if there is any. Um, then you take a soldering iron, soldering gun, and some solder, and then just connect the pickup cover to the pickup so it doesn't come up. Very easy. Uh, the last update that I would do, and it's something that's like very far in the future, I'm sure, because um, it's not super, super needed, but uh, the Gibson Deluxe tuners here just I don't like them uh, I think it's just the gear ratio on them I don't know if it's like a 12 to 1 or 14 to 1 or 13 to 1 but um, I find when I'm doing fine tuning if I'm tuning up or tuning down uh, sometimes if I'm doing like a quarter turn uh, it's not until you get past that quarter turn that the tuner actually does anything and that's really annoying when you're doing fine tuning um, but Cluson Revolution tuners or drop-in tuners here, and you can get the Cluson Revolution locking tuners, and those with a 19 to 1 gear ratio, they're my favorite tuners that are out there currently on the market. Uh, I'm not sponsored at all by Cluson. Cluson has no idea who this channel is. I am not getting paid to say that. I'm not even getting a little sticker to say that. Um, send me a sticker. <laughs> well, those are the tuners that I would get. Again, they're drop-in, uh, and they're phenomenal. Anyway, here is what this guitar looks and sounds like in a mix now. There's no comparison or anything like that with what it was like pre.
Thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I didn't talk too much. And if I did, I hopefully made sense. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Again, in the comments, let us know what you would do to this guitar. Um, I don't say throw it in the garbage because you don't like Gibson. That's, you, you just sound ridiculously stupid. Um, and yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down the video either. We don't care. Thanks for watching.